The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is Floyd Mayweather saying he's coming out of retirement. What we're going to discuss is do we believe it? Is this another stunt? If he comes out of retirement, is he going? who is he going to fight? Is he fighting in boxing? Is he fighting in MMA? There were pictures servicing of him with uh, Dana White. Uh, your thoughts? What do you think? Good for the sport? Bad? Well, it's never going to be bad for the sport, but it's, you know, just how do you feel about it? Once I just went off with Trill. Um, you know, we said this when Floyd announced his retirement. We said, what is he going to do? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, Floyd, what is Floyd actually going to do? Floyd, he tries to go on as many vacations as you, he could. Uh, he tried to ride as many camels he could in Dubai. It's just eventually, Floyd is a fighter. You know what I'm saying? And he wants, he just wants to fight. Um, I seen the pictures with him and Dana White, and he was talking about, you know, they're going to do, make, make history again. And I know there was the guy that... Um, you know, beat up Connor that they were saying they was going to make that fight with. Um, if Floyd does get back in the ring, I don't see him jumping in there with somebody, um, a big competitive boxing match. I could see him going in there and beating up on one of those UFC guys. Um, I just think, I just, I just like to see Floyd. I don't want to see him in on a real boxing match where he can go against his record. I want him to retire undefeated with the best record in boxing. Um, listen, but everybody's coming out of retirement. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Marcos Madonna just say he's coming out of retirement. I don't know. Maybe they'll make that happen for the uh, the, the 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 third time. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? Who knows? I even seen um, uh, Andre Ward messing with people's heart. You know what I'm saying? Andre Wood messing with oh, people's yeah, house. Showing out <laughs> pictures. Uh, he, 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 but he's posting a lot, a lot of like, yeah, pictures yeah. of him training, uh -huh. preparing, <laughs> in there before the fight. Like, what are you doing? And he's bro? like, relax. You're coming out of nothing. Oh, relax, everyone. You relax. <laughs> Stop, stop, stop tugging on people's hearts, Andre. You're doing throwback Thursday every day. <laughs> every day, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, hey, you know, we want to just, you know, I just will hey, just see him in there. As long as it's going to be like maybe an exhibition or something. I don't mind seeing Floyd. But, you know, Floyd gets bored. He's a fighter. What is Floyd going to do for? He's a fighter. That's what he does. He fights. All right, G? Yeah, listen. I'm going to contradict myself. From a previous episode, we had probably like episode seven, eight, or something. And I was like, nobody wants to see Floyd versus Pacquiao, too. I'm completely wrong. And now, <laughs> after, after Pacquiao's performance with Keith Thurman, and if Pacquiao defeats Danny Garcia, that's gonna be a mega fight all over again. Floyd coming back. Versus Pacquiao, the one that has now, who's a champion, who's revitalized his career. That would be great. They already fought before. So um, I feel like Floyd would be comfortable enough where I don't even think Floyd may even need the tune-up fight. You know, and if in fact Floyd is really that great, he just goes straight into it, body bag Pacquiao again. And then, because you know, everyone's making the argument that now Pacquiao's the GOAT. But if the GOAT comes back, and regains the gold spot. Nobody can ever say anything again about Floyd. So I feel like Floyd, come back, defeat Pacquiao. You're around the same age. I feel like it'll be an easier fight for you versus uh, messing with one of these young bulls. You know what I mean? So just go with the Pacquiao fight. It's going to be an excellent payday for both parties. I think that's what we should be uh, focused on. Ned? At this point, is Floyd really retired or does he just, he's looking for that big payday? So, I say it all depends on how Pacquiao does his next fight, like G said. I agree with G. And, you know, Floyd, it's Floyd, it's just he did, dangles that overhead coming out of retirement, coming out of retirement. Every couple of months, you know, he's looking for, say, he's over in Saudi Arabia, he's overseas, he's playing <laughs> fights, and he says, coming out of retirement. So, you know, Floyd isn't really retired. He's just waiting for that big payday where it really makes sense for him to just take that fight. And I guess it's, he's not going to take one of a young fighter. He's not going to fight somebody who's like, he's not going to fight. It has to be somebody legendary. Yeah, it has to be somebody. It, may, it has to make sense for him and it has to make sense for us. So he's not going to put his record at jeopardy to fight a younger fighter, but he will come out here and fight Pac-Man if the numbers is looking good. And Pac-Man wins his next fight. And Pac-Man can stay relevant. So, yeah. 
I don't know. I think Floyd tries to stay relevant by, uh, you know, saying, oh, I'm going to come out of retirement or posting certain videos that, you know, hint towards him coming out of retirement. And then he just people aren't really buying it now. So now he just posted a video of him when he was like, you know, ripped and ready before a fight and saying, I'm coming out of retirement. Will he really come out of retirement? Who knows? Is it possible? It's always possible. But I know like once you reach the pinnacle, it's hard to come back uh, for anything short of that. So you have to think about Floyd coming back. It has to make financial sense. Mm -hmm. So what fights out there would make financial sense for Floyd Mayweather? And that's where I'm just kind of like, it can only be Pacquiao, yeah. right? Um, maybe he wants a tune-up before Pacquiao. Um, just because Pacquiao's a real fighter, he's not Conor McGregor. He's not a uh, tension, <laughs> you know, he's a real fighter. So maybe Floyd wants to tune up before Manny Pacquiao. But if he's coming out of retirement to like actually fight again, and he's not caring about money, it can only tell me one thing. Um, he believes that he can still dominate this next group of fighters, this next crop of fighters. Um, he announced his retirement after Earl Spence was in that car accident and Earl Spence is now probably not going to fight in January. So it has me thinking, is he going to come out and fight Earl? Like, I don't know. Um, does he have some info that I don't have? I don't know. But I think maybe after seeing Sean Porter give Earl all the trouble he gave Earl, I think maybe that made Floyd think, if Sean Porter can do this to him, I can beat him. Um, seeing Manny Pacquiao beat Keith Thurman, I think Floyd probably sent at home like, man, if he did that to him, I can beat him. Um, and then what's left? Danny Garcia. Um, and I'm sure Floyd feels like he can beat Danny. I'm sure Floyd feels like he can beat Sean Porter. Then there's Terrence Crawford out there, and I feel like Floyd's sure he can beat him. So I think Floyd's probably sitting at home like, I can still beat these guys. Maybe I should come out of retirement and just put add to my legacy. So I don't know, because I, before I was thinking he would only do it for big money fights. But after seeing Earl struggle with Sean, Thurman lose to Pacquiao, and then there's Danny and these other guys, maybe Floyd just feels like, I'll still beat these guys. Let me come out and beat these guys. I don't know. Yeah, just to say what you said, um, Crawford was the first one to jump out the window and was like, yeah, I challenge Floyd. Floyd's coming out of retirement. I challenge Floyd. Um, thank you for watching Boxing Bros. Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. It's the Boxing Bros.